HDCP errors on Roku devices are among the most frustrating streaming issues users encounter. These errors typically appear as a purple screen with an error message or display error code 020. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. It's a form of digital rights management, or DRM, designed to prevent unauthorized copying of digital content as it travels through HDMI connections. HDCP errors occur when the digital handshake between devices fails. Your Roku, TV, and any intermediate devices like AV receivers must all support HDCP and successfully communicate with each other. The first troubleshooting step is power cycling all devices. Unplug your Roku, TV, and any connected AV receivers or soundbars for at least 10 seconds, then plug them back in one by one. Next, check your HDMI connections. Ensure cables are securely connected and not damaged. For best results, use high-speed HDMI cables certified for 8K and 48 gigabits per second. Try connecting your Roku directly to the TV, bypassing any intermediate devices. This eliminates potential compatibility issues with AV receivers or soundbars that might not fully support HDCP. Finally, ensure your Roku firmware is up to date. Outdated software can cause compatibility issues. As of July 2024, Roku has acknowledged HDCP issues with certain Ultra models and introduced updated hardware to address HDCP 2.2 compliance. When basic troubleshooting fails, advanced display settings often hold the solution. These settings control how your Roku communicates with your TV and can resolve many HDCP compatibility issues. First, navigate to your display settings and set the display type to Auto Detect. This allows your Roku to automatically determine the best display format for your TV. Next, disable the Auto Adjust Display Refresh Rate feature in Advanced Display Settings. This prevents automatic refresh rate changes that can trigger HDCP handshake failures. Some users find that temporarily disabling HDR resolves HDCP errors, especially with older TVs that have partial HDR support. HDCP errors sometimes occur with specific streaming channels. Prime Video is commonly affected due to its strict content protection requirements. If errors occur with a specific channel, remove it completely from your Roku, then reinstall it fresh from the channel store. This clears any corrupted data or authentication issues. When all software fixes fail, hardware level solutions become necessary. A factory reset clears all settings and can resolve deep-seated compatibility issues. Factory reset should be your last software resort. It will erase all your settings, channels, and preferences, returning your Roku to its original state. Before assuming your Roku is faulty, test it on a different TV. This helps determine whether the issue is with your Roku device or your television's HDCP implementation. HDCP compliance across your entire setup is crucial. Every device in your HDMI chain must support the same HDCP version for seamless operation. Check that your TV, Roku, and any AV receivers or soundbars all support HDCP 2.2 for 4K content. Older devices may only support HDCP 1.4, causing compatibility issues. If problems persist after trying all these solutions, contact Roku support directly. They can provide device-specific guidance and may offer hardware replacement if your device is defective. Remember, HDCP errors often stem from compatibility issues rather than device failures. Systematic troubleshooting through these advanced settings usually resolves the problem.